and we're given a graph and we're trying to figure out the domain and range of a function, what I like to do is remember that domain means X values and range means Y values. That's important to begin with. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna thank domain, thinking about which X values do we attain on this graph. Basically, I'm gonna squish this entire graph down to the X axis, that's the horizontal axis. So any of these points that are up above are gonna get pushed down here, down to the X axis. And it doesn't look like we have any gaps or breaks in our graph. So it's gonna be a nice solid, everything's filled in from all these points that got pushed down here. Now from below the X axis, all of these points can get pushed up to the X axis until we get all the way out here to the right hand side that open circle on the right hand side means that point is not included. So I'm gonna put a, an open circle here on the right hand side. The filled in circle on the left hand side at negative two means that point is included. So now all I have to do is kind of transpose this um, X axis and all these, um, the shading that's been done here over into interval notation. So in this one, it doesn't look like we have any gaps or breaks in the middle. It looks like we go from negative two all the way to positive three and everything in between is filled in. So those would be the endpoints or interval notation. Now negative two was included with that filled in circle. So I'm gonna use the square brackets to indicate as much. And then three is not included with the open circle. So that's gonna be parentheses. Now the range is a little bit different that remember range means Y values. So what we're gonna do is squeeze the entire graph into the Y axis. So all these points on the left-hand side get pushed in here. And it looks like we have points filling up all the way up to, looks like four, we actually do have a point all the way up here at four. So I'm gonna use a filled in circle for that point. Now we do push in from the right-hand side, all these points get pushed in. Now they're repeating or doubling up, but that's okay. Those are already included um, up above the x-axis. When we get below the x-axis, you'll notice that these points all push in here from the right-hand side. Doesn't look like we have any gaps or breaks. So that shaded region is gonna keep coming down, coming down all the way until we get to negative five. Well, negative five is not included. So I'm gonna put an open circle there. But now it looks like everything shaded in between negative five as our lower bound and positive four for the very upper bound in this case. Now negative five, open circle is gonna mean parenthesis. Positive four is gonna be included with that filled in circle. We actually had a point on our graph all the way up there with a Y value of four. So it's gonna get a closed bracket. All right, hope this helps out as you're reading graphs, trying to find domains and ranges. Good luck.